So with the Bray manager, I suppose, Gary, how do you reflect on the drama of a 90-second yeah, minute yeah. goal that means your team loses the game as opposed to wins the game? Yeah, it's, uh, it's, quite, it's hard to take now at the moment. It's quite raw and fresh at the moment. You, you, look, you look at the uh, game, which was obviously Galway need to win, obviously did in the end, and um, we want to win to have control of our own destiny in the last game of the season. But, um, you know, when you break it down, I thought we had more more chances, couple and half chances. I think we should have been up. I thought we started really well in four fifteen minutes. We had a great chance. Kevin Horgan pulled out a great save. Uh, he pulled out a couple of really good saves. As the Brian Mara from a free kick, but when you knuckle it all down to those last thirty seconds, and we break. You know, Jack was brilliant there when he came on, but he, he has to score. He knows that he has to score. He has to put that home. Put that home. We're obviously invading the pitch. I think because I think that would have been it. And. Um, 30 seconds later, they're, they're invading the pitch after a late, a late goal. You know, the thing with football is, Jamie, there's times you're running on the pitch yourself after a dramatic finish, and unfortunately, you know, over your football career, they don't all go for you. You have to experience the, um, the other side of it, and unfortunately, today we're experiencing that side of it now, which is it's hard to take. Yeah, I was at the game against Shamrock Rovers 2 in Tal a couple yeah. of weeks ago, and that felt for you guys like a really important win, given we were going to the last couple of games and this home game against Galway, and then the last game against Athlone, and it's just swung now because Drod have won two 0 and it now goes to the to the final day. I think you guys can both win the league, and there's five other teams that can make the playoffs. So every match on Tuesday has something on it, and you just need to go to Athlone and yeah, try I mean, and win. Obviously, the result at the end keeps Galway alive, so it keeps them in the hunt, but. You know, when we're doing the match up at all, you know, two games to go, regardless, we would have had to go to win, lose or draw, we had to go to Atlanta and win, because you have to assume draw they're going to uh, are going to win in, in Cabin T, that's the way you have to tackle it, like, you know, um, and you look at it, obviously, the, the last kick of the game, we've lost that point, yet, yeah, well, obviously, didn't want to lose game, hey, lose a football match, I want me clean sheet, I was disappointed, our last two home games fin finished in defeat after it's been so good here at home, but at the same time, you look at it and go, look, the pressure's on draw, they're now to win. You know, it's in their hands, um, and obviously Kevin Feely, as you said, need to win to get into the playoffs. We're playing at loan, who it's going to be a tough game. With, you know, they have the FAI Cup quarter final coming up on the Saturday, and we have to go and win that game to have any chance. Um, but regardless, I think we would have had to win the game anyway. So, it, not a hell of a lot has changed in that regard. We've just lost it, uh, our own uh, control of our own destiny, obviously, which is disappointing. But I think he's all said it throughout the media, and uh, over the last few weeks, it's been a fascinating force division. Twists and turns. Obviously, when Drogheda done us here, they had control, and then we took it back. Obviously, when they got beaten against Atlanta, we had two fantastic away wins, UCD and uh, Rovers, two really good sides, and um, and now it's gone swung back into their favour. But we'll probably have a couple of swings over the next 90 minutes now on Tuesday. Uh, on Tuesday. Yeah, and just lastly on that, like everybody, I'm sure will be looking at the other scores in the other games to see, in your case, how Drogheda are doing. They're seeing how you're doing. I felt this weekend that they would beat Wexford. Your game was tougher against Galway, and yeah. on Tuesday. I feel you'll be that loan and their game against Cabin Teedy is tougher so it's all to play for and, and for us watching it's going to be dramatic yeah, what would it like for you involved in it? It's roles are better than you think yeah because obviously Cabin Teedy are fighting to nail to get those playoffs um, our game against that loan won't be easy I'm sure they'll want to do well and, and, and try and win the game but you know um, it, it keeps it interesting now to the end to be honest we'd have won the game today which as you can see we were 30 seconds away from doing that um, if we win that game we still have to win in that loan, I feel, because you know, slip up in that loan, and then and then and then drop the win, and, uh, and we've lost money. But you know, I've been there. I've been there as a player. Went down to Sligo needing a, a win, and we tried actually as a player, and we um, we won one 0 on the day. But the nerves from the players it can 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 take its toll. So a lot of their players, it's the first time that they'd be in that position to try and win a league, and um, you know, the pressure's on them obviously to win because it's in their own hands. But look, come here, we just have to do our business, win the game, and, and hopefully, Cabin Team. Imagine Pat Devlin doing us a favour. I'm sure he will. And if not, sure you have the playoffs to look forward to as well, yeah. which is something I'm sure to fall back on. Guys, thanks for coming out. Cheers. Cheers Good luck on Tuesday. Thanks very much. Thanks. All the best. So, here with the Galway manager, John Caulfield. John, that is a dramatic League of Ireland finish if ever there was one. Your playoff hopes are still alive going into the last day. Six teams can still make the playoffs, two teams can still win the league. So, uh, some drama ahead on Tuesday. Yeah, I suppose, Jimmy, the way we look at it is that, you know, eight, eight weeks ago, we had nothing to play for. You know, we hadn't, we hadn't won a match and the lads have turned around seven out of nine. Um, you know, and even even on Tuesday night, if we were to win, we're not guaranteed. It's incredible the way the league has been and the, and the, the way the teams have done it. So it was, um, you know, it was a dramatic vi victory, I suppose. In the end, we were trying, we were throwing on forward players, we were trying to see who we 
get the, get, get the goal. It was no good to either one. In fairness to, to Gary, he was throwing on forward players to see could get they get the goal, and it ended up being sort of in ten for the last probably ten fifteen minutes. And up to that, it had been a, probably a scrappy affair, you know. So, um, you know, it's um, I suppose it's great for everyone looking in for the league because it's still, you know, draw them brave to decide who goes up on Tuesday night, and we have to see can we make the playoffs and. Uh, it is exciting, there's no doubt about that. Yeah, 90 second minute for Carlton. Report he might have been offside. There's no VAR here, thankfully, for you guys. And dramatic scenes the team, the bench, the small supporters that were allowed into the ground tonight, the club officials, just uh, you could really see what that meant to you guys. Yeah, well, I think, to be fair, we're probably written off. No one expected to be in this position. And the fact that we actually go to the last game of the season and have a chance. You know, it's just something about those lads, and they've they've worked very hard, and we've been pushing them hard, and uh, you know, so you know, I think we thought our chance was gone. You know, the keeper made a phenomenal save in injury time, and we thought that was it. And then, you know, we smack it against the crossbar, rebound, and ends up back in it. And of course, there was excitement scoring so late, and obviously uh, disappointing for for Bray. But look, at they go again Tuesday night with a chance to win the league. We go with a chance of trying to make the playoffs. So it's. Um, it is exciting. Yeah, I was just chatting there to Johnny Glenn, one of your coaches, and we worked out that every match on Tuesday has something on the line because it either has a team in it that can win the league or a team in it that can make the playoffs. You guys are at home to UCD and Amy DC Park on Tuesday. All the games at the same time. It's set up just to be such a really dramatic, entertaining night for us as people watching. For you guys too, you've got to try and look after yourselves, win the game and, and then look for other results. Yeah, and I suppose for us at the end of the day, you know, entertaining is probably a bit hard stopping for the managers, but uh, maybe with age I've calmed down a little bit. But, you know, I suppose the thing for us is that our waveform Jimmy has been fantastic. We've won five away games, and uh, you know we kept a clean sheet. Our home form hasn't been as good, so we need to try and see can we rectify that Tuesday night. And all we can do at the end of the day is put ourselves in a position where going to the last game that we have to see can we win. And if it's not good enough, if it's not good enough. That's fine. But still, the way the way the league is going at the moment, the chances are that if if you were to win, you might qualify. So it'll be a shame for us at this stage after working so hard if we don't give a, a good performance. But UCD are top team and we know all that yeah and just lastly I spoke to you I think the day after you got the job and you had the FAI Cup match against Shelburne your opening game the league form has been so good you've had a little break because of the Covid as well which has affected all of the teams and you've now got a chance to, to make the playoffs on Tuesday so how would you reflect on the last number of weeks and, and months since you, you jumped back in became the Galway manager and all to play for now in, in the last game and you're back on the sideline loving it yeah it's been brilliant you know I love going in training the lads and they've, they've responded fantastic you know, fantastic, and uh, the COVID was difficult because we were out for two and a half weeks, and um, you know we had to play the game during the week with a number of players who only were were cleared on the on the day before, so it was it was difficult. But to be fair, like you know, again, draw the team, very very good team, but this division has been mad, Jamie, and there hasn't been a lot between a lot of the teams, which is shown with the results, and that's why it's been so exciting. You know, has the quality been fantastic? I think it's been spectacular goals, but at the same time, um, you know, it's a great division to be in. But it's a hard division to get out of. John, thanks a million. Enjoy Tuesday if you can. Thanks, Jimmy.